In what has become a tradition he keeps strictly every year with religious regularity, multilingual broadcaster, chairman and CEO of Biscan Communications, producers of the BC Olatilo show BUS and the publisher of the BUS International magazine gathered together a very respectable legion of friends, fans, admirers, loved ones and well-wishers as well as family members to thank God for his exceptional goodness and protection over him. In the past most eventful 63 years on earth, there is no gain saying the fact that, given the very tortuous times we're passing through, especially in these parts, where life expectancy is on a steady decline, the celebration of 63 glorious years and resounding good health is well placed. The event which took place on Tuesday, the 20th of December, the birthday proper of B.C. Olatilo, who styles himself as the original December boy, was attended by friends of the celebrants from a most geopolitically diverse assemblage of people from the top echelon of different spheres of society. The continuous prayers and best wishes of the celebrants, B.C. Olatilo, go to the oldest person at the event, Sir Kessington Adebutu, undoubtedly a frontline fan of the BC Olatilo show, BOS, and a huge benefactor of the celebrant for his contributions towards the success of the event. Former governor of Ogun State and one of the most respected journalists in Nigeria, Chief Olusha Gonshoba, as usual, showed his unwavering love for the celebrant. Al Haji Razak Okoya, CON, was fully represented by his beautiful and stylish wife, Dr. Chief Mrs. Shade Okoya, while Justice Adeshola Oguntade was represented by his wife, Chief Mrs. Mudukbeola Oguntade. Others include Professor Patu Tome and his wife, Senator Loranimbe Mamura, Professor Tony Ashiru, Lady Ngozi Omerua, Chief Tony Kuruji, Chairman of the Copyright Society of Nigeria, Former Nigeria's Deputy High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Ambassador Tony Lawal, was joined by his wife, who is also a December celebrant. Chairman of Island Club, Mr. Dikpo Okweshei S.A.N., was joined by the Vice Chairman of the Club, Prince Adelano Adeshida, while the President of the Lagos Lawn Tennis Club, Barista Ruti Miedu, was accompanied by the Vice President, Prince Bengalu Fadeju, and other members like Balaye Sufu, Bolahon Funsho, Aki Johnson, Lucinda Rokosu, and others. The celebrant, Prince Bisiolatilo, harvested to the fullest the goodwill which is a lasting asset he has built for himself, to which he has invested so much over the years in the various interactions with the high and low in the society. The event which also doubled as the 35th wedding anniversary of B.C. Olatilo and his wife, Mrs. Folashadi Olatilo, formally began with the grand arrival of Mrs. Folashadi Olatilo, who was ushered into the arena with a sounding standing ovation in due deference to the accolades and praises with which the celebrant, Prince B.C. Olatilo, described her as a pillar behind all the successes in the last 35 years of their union which has produced five children and three grandchildren to the glory of God. In fact, the venue that hosted the event, Voodoo Lounge, directly facing the Atlantic Ocean, at the Ilegushi Beach, on the second and third roundabout, to the right of the Lekki Ekpe Expressway, is owned and run by the celebrant's first son, Babaji de Olatilo, and his close friend, Sheo Shueton, the Voodoo Lounge, which is very ideal for hosting of social and corporate functions, was chosen for the get-together to honor the Olati laws, to bring the idea of the multi-purpose Voodoo Lounge to the consciousness of those yet to be inducted. As it has always been at all the events of the Olati laws, prayers always take preeminence 
and Pastor Folari Obey, son of Evangelist Ebenezer Obey, was around, and he replicated what he did when B.C. Olatelo turned 50 13 years ago at an event that took place at the British International School, BIS, in Victoria Island, Lagos. As the guests settled in, the mega band, a very unique set of very talented young people, entertained with soft music, which also aided the dinner. Following that, an outpouring of birthday wishes and congratulatory messages for the celebrant, Prince Bisi Olatilo and his wife, Mrs. Folashadi Olatilo, took center stage. Those who verbalized their thoughts included Sir Kessentin Adebutu, Professor Patu Tome, Chief Edwin Ibukwe, and Lady Ngoze Umerua. The birthday boy, and I wish you it's a very, very happy birthday. Long life and prosperity. And God willing, all you wish yourself shall come true in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This is the quintessential Nigeria. A Nigeria through and through all over. Uh, we live in a country that has gone in ways that uh, we didn't think it would go. Uh, uh, there's another former chief of air staff who speaks Igbo flawlessly. He has never lived in Igbo land. He learned to speak Igbo in Yola. And MBC could speak all the languages. Even the one that he refused to learn, they gave it to him by force. <laughs> and so uh, he has used this talent to bring all of us closer through the years. And there's nothing more wonderful than to give joy to others. And he has presented that with his work. We congratulate you for what you are. We congratulate you for what you represent. We congratulate you for the spark that you put in young people. May many be like your tribe. Uh, BC is somebody, warm-hearted, a man with passion, a man who exhibits love to people around him. A man who is committed to his friends. Uh, I want to thank him for always being there for me. And that is why I'm here to reciprocate. Not to not, not to retaliate like he and me. <laughs> but if I retaliate like he and me, uh, uh, you you see a lot of good things in your life. God will make you see better things in your life with Jesus. Me. You grow better than all of us, higher than all of us, higher than Baba Jebu. Baba Jebu is high already, very high, and is going higher. Uh, at over 80, the actual job of Lagos, uh, Budibao. Uh, I hear, 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 this is he's a lovely man, if I might use that word. Uh, yeah, there's no way I wouldn't be here if I heard. And he is always like that when you call on him, even when he hears that there is something about me, I think he loves me. Madam, you don't need to care about that you are safe. And I know that the much love that he shows. I know he shows much more to you, and that's why both of you have remained friends. And I just thank God for your life, busy. I thank God for what you stand for. I thank God for your children, and I believe that, and I trust God that He's continue to make him proud. Thank you very much. 
In Jesus' name, I have just said what I have said. Uh, people have said a lot about him, and people still have more to say about him. BC, I, you are senior, you don't know. I'm one year, two months, you are senior. Only, 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 whatever. <laughs> you see, God will continue to bless you, and uh, you are wife too, because she has been taking care of you. I want to assure you one thing that. As long as we all live, we are with you and we continue praying for you. God, we continue blessing you in Jesus' name, I say. The general consensus was that the celebrant, B.C. Olatilo, was reaping a bountiful harvest of the goodness he has invested in people's lives through his program, the globally acclaimed B.C. Olatilo Show, B.O.S., and his generous disposition towards everyone. They advised his children and all those connected with him in any way to take a cue from all the good qualities that have distinguished B.C. Olatilo in his profession. With B.C. Olatilo and his wife, Mrs. Folashadi Olatilo, and the children in attendance, the cutting of the cake of B.C. Olatilo's 63rd birthday and 35th anniversary of his wedding was supervised by Senator Loronimbe Mamura. The audience stood to sing a happy birthday song for the celebrants. One, two, three, twenty, thirty, thirty-five. 40, 45, 50, 52, 59, 60, 61, 62, and 63. Shall we sing for him for the birthday boss? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Missy. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord. When we put, bring the root down. Help, help, help. The hallmark of all the birthday celebration of BC Olatilo every year is the injection of an intellectual dimension beyond whining and dining to help to further educate the society on matters of national concern. As the nation gears up preparations to switch from analog to digital broadcasting, with the FCT jump starting the process. On Thursday, 22nd December 2016, Chief Tony Kuruji, Chairman of the Copyright Society of Nigeria, COSAN, delivered a talk on the challenges and prospects of copyright and intellectual property in the digital age. The topic is very apt because with the emergence of digitalization, there will be an upsurge for content, which is very vital in broadcasting. Therefore, Practitioners and all the stakeholders deserve to be properly sensitized on the do's and don'ts to be borne in mind. Chief Tony Kuruji was very much at home with the topic, which he most eloquently treated. We must make ourselves a very important nation in the knowledge economy, the intellectual property economy, the creative economy. And you recognize this by the people in the world today who are the wealthiest people. Whether you're Bill Gates or a, you know, Zuckerberg that was celebrated, that's where we need to be concentrated to make our economy better. And if we did this, our children will not be roaming around the streets without jobs. Our children will have a lot to eat. There will be no Boko Haram and we don't have to worry about whether somebody is guarding the oil pipes or not. That's all I want to say today because 
our consideration is still in brick and mortar, in buildings, in trucks, and that's not where the world is. Before the event wound up, Pastor Folari Ebenezaube prayed specially for Prince Bisiolatilo, his wife, Mrs. Folashadiolatilo, and all the children. From then on, until the end of the special event put together to celebrate Bisi Olatilo and his wife, Mrs. Folashadi Olatilo, the ubiquitous mega band entertained the guests who danced to their heart's desire. The celebrant, Prince Bisi Olatilo, now changed to a lighter wear, leveled up with staff of Biscon Communications, friends of his son, and others in a special jollification that went on and on. As we draw the curtains on the very modest get-together to celebrate the Yolati laws, we once again remind you that the venue that hosted the event, Voodoo Lounge, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, in the Ilegushi Beach on the second and third roundabout of the Lagos Ekwe Expressway to the right, is the best venue for the hosting of all events, corporate or social. <laughs>